so hi friends so this video shows how to add reset redmi go and bypass factory reset protection so you can see this phone is password protected suppose you don't remember the uh, pattern so in this situation you have to reset the phone okay so i will show you how you can do that so you can see it has power button and volume up and volume down button so what you have to do is you have to press and hold volume up and power button press and hold for 5 seconds or something just hold it then you can see okay you can see that it's rebooted and it stop at this screen you can see it's showing no command so in this screen what you have to do is you have to again press this power button press and hold only the power button then press volume up press and hold power button then press volume up done so now you can see an other screen so in this new screen you can see there is a lot of options you can just uh, switch the option using volume up and volume down so you have to select this option wipe data or factory reset just go to that option then press the power button to select that option then again it's asking for yes or no just select yes using volume down button then press power button to select so now in the bottom you can see it's doing formatting data formatting cache and for data wipe complete now it successfully had reset uh, this phone now we need to reboot so for reboot again you can see the first option reboot you have to go to the first option and then select press the power button to select that option now you can see the phone is rebooting okay now we have completed hard reset or factory reset now this is a screen which you, are, you will get after reboot just click on tap on the start button then connect to one of your Wi-Fi tap on see all Wi-Fi networks then select the Wi-Fi which you want to connect then enter the password then connect now there is two, two option copy your data or set up pay, uh, set up new one so I am going to select set up as new so now here is a problem now it's again asking for the password so you cannot continue with the password because we, you don't know the password right but there is one option if you know your gmail id and password you can just select this option use my google account instead click on that then enter your gmail id and password okay you are done you will be able to log into your mobile if you are if you are if you don't remember your gmail id and password then there is no option because you also don't remember the part, uh, password right so there is so then you have to hack so i will show you how you can do that what you have to do is you have to go back We need to do factory reset protection bypass frp bypass just go back to the first screen 
okay then select emergency call then tap on this option twice then click on this edit icon tap on that then tap on add contact make sure that you have inserted your sim if you are not inserted your sim you will not see any contact here then this trick will not work so first insert your sim with some number okay should should be you should save some contact in your sim okay so that contacts will come here just select one contact that will add here just again click uh, tap on this add contact okay so here what you have to do is you have to tap on this uh, three dots and select search share so what i am going to do is i am going to open uh, google chrome browser that is what i am trying to do using that google chrome browser i need to download some apk so there is a way to open google chrome browser that is what i am doing right now just follow these steps uh, tap on this message app and then select app info then here you have to select sms app you have to follow the same steps otherwise you will not be able to open google chrome then op click uh, tap on opening links then here scroll down and tap on go youtube go then tap on youtube go icon here then here you need to select app notifications then scroll down go down there you can see additional settings in the app tap on that then go down there you can see about in the bottom you can see about tap on about then in the new screen you have to select youtube terms of service when you tap on that it will ask for browser option see so for this to get this option i done all these steps there is no other way to open uh, chrome or browse uh, chrome, any browser open uh, browser when your phone is locked okay so just tap on chrome and just once then accept the con continue next no thanks okay so here you need to type one url here you have to type so you have to type this url because in this url this url will redirect it to another one site there from there you can download frp bypass app uh, app just go to that url you can see it just opened flash file bd.co so you take this url you can save in one tiny url and you can use that tiny url also it's not necessary to use my url okay so there mainly you have to download two apps uh, first one is um, this google account manager uh, 8.0 the based on your android version you have to download google account manager then frp bypass factor reset by uh, protection bypass app so let me download uh, google account manager first tap on download then tap on download here then tap on save file then tap on continue then allow tap on download then tap on ok then tap on open okay tap on settings and enable this allow from this source 
then go back then tap on install now it's installing google account manager okay done tap on done then go back now we need to download frp bypass tap on download then tap on download again it's a very small file 1.2 mb then tap on save file ok then open tap on install now it's installing ok installed then tap on open so now it's asking for password so don't enter anything here this is important this step is important so in your phone in the bottom you have three buttons right right one button center one button then in the left one button the right button so this is the right button in your phone okay the bottom you have to tap and hold when you tap and hold you will see this pop-up browser sign in then tap on that option then tap on ok then here you need to enter the gmail id the new, here you can enter the new gmail id and password suppose you remember you don't remember your old gmail id and password in that situation you have to create a new gmail id and password create a new gmail account that gmail id and password you can give here okay it will work in both case you can enter the existing gmail id and password or you can create a new gmail id and password and you can use that gmail id password here it will this app this uh, factory reset protection bypass app will add the new gmail id to this phone that is what this app is doing okay so enter the gmail id and password this is a gmail id then password okay done just enter okay done now we, we have done the bypass just go back go back back go back to the first screen start screen okay then tap on start then you can select the setup as new or the above one both will work now you can see the account which you add see here you can see the okay. it's saying this id is ready then tap on next then select not now skip anyway no thanks except okay we are done actually okay done so if it's if you are stuck at uh, some point we can just restart the phone then it will work okay now you can see there is no password now we have successfully removed the password so this way we can hard reset redmi phone and bypass frp factory reset protection okay so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel please like and share the video